where did this vision come from? This vision came from my own healing journey. I was the woman that was closed and rigid and hated men subconsciously, basically. Actually, I hated women as well. I, I um, come from a family of big T traumas and, um, you know, I was shown or made to believe in my childhood that masculine men were dangerous and scary and abusive and harmful. And then I was... I witnessed that women were manipulative and not trustworthy. And so for years in my own life and in my own journey, I, um, yeah, just didn't really trust anyone, including myself. And I found myself at the helm of a $60 million business. And, uh, you know, they say if you want to know yourself, get in a relationship or start a business. <laughs> and that business really put me through my paces and started to um forced me in a way to look at myself and my patterns and my behaviors and how I was showing up in the world. And I started to heal. I started to understand what masculine and feminine energetics were. I under started to understand what masculine and feminine wounding was. And I went on a journey to yeah, uncover all the ways in which I was a part of the problem, in which I was perpetuating this cycle of pain. And from that journey, I discovered I guess this ethos, this desire, this um, devotion to living as love and inviting everyone on this journey to uh, start to, to turn the pointing fingers inwards and start to take responsibility for our, the ways we show up in the world, in our life and in our business. So how has this vision, I mean, helped you at this point, like mm. from where you were at and where you've come? Yeah, I want to say I thought money was the answer. I built a really big business and I had really nice things. And, you know, I was running away from who I was as a child, from my childhood, from where I grew up. And I wasn't really paying attention to where I was running to. I had this awareness that, you know, money in some capacity was going to get me out of the situation and the life that I was in out of the, um, I want to say I thought it was going to help me break the generational trauma because we were poor. So obviously then if I became rich, I wouldn't have the same issues, but my trauma followed me. The, the generational stuff followed me. Money didn't, um, money didn't get me out of dealing with my trauma or doing any healing. Um, in fact, in some ways, money just um, exasperates what's inside and brings it to the surface to be seen because you, you then have the time and the resources to deal with it. It's just some people choose to deal with it and some people choose to continue to avoid it.